Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing the Brexit conundrum. Thank you for joining us today during this Forex Academy educational video. In this session, we will be looking at the Brexit situation and how it is unfolding and the disparity between the British pound and the FTSE 100 index. Here is the FTSE 100 index and where we can see three peaks that are falling from a high of 6,500 to a current level at the time of writing at 5,960, a gradual trend lower since June 2020. Here is a chart of the British pound against the United States dollar and where we can see during the same time period the pound has been extremely bullish against the dollar from 1.2200 up to a peak of 1.3400 to its current trading range. This tells us a story that the pound is bullish and this is largely due to the US dollar weakness and where traders have been trading the waves upwards, following the trend. This has been fairly typical where the US dollar weakness has been seen across the board and particularly with other major currencies. So we have bad continuing economics from the USA and bad US dollar sentiment. If we revert back to our FTSE 100 chart, the same sentiments cannot be applied to the British economy and this is typically because of one reason. Fund managers do not act out of sentiment in the same way as currency traders do. Fund managers will typically take a more long-term view and this of course must factor in the Brexit situation. Herein lies the conundrum. One set of traders are buying the pounds and another set are selling their UK equities, mostly because of the risk of no trade agreement being achieved between the European Union and the British governments regarding the future trade deal. This has largely been put down to the European Union wanting more leeway regarding fisheries and European fishing vessels being allowed to fish British waters, and also with regard to the standards being maintained across the board between Britain and Europe within the financial service sector and other areas such as food. Both sides have red lines which neither are prepared to budge from, and where there seems to be a breakdown of negotiations with Michael Barnier and his British government counterpart David Frost. Time is of the essence, and it is said that a deal must be reached by the end of October in order for the future trading relationship, including zero tariffs on either side, being implemented. Should an agreement not be reached, Britain will be left to trade outside of Europe on World Trading Organization rules which are not as favorable to Britain as they would be with no tariff arrangements within Europe. Michael Barnier has made it clear that unless standards are unified across the board and the UK are willing to move their red lines of fisheries, it could be trading problems and frictions even where British lorry drivers might not be allowed to pass through Europe. So where does this leave things? Pretty much hanging in the air. The strength of the pound belies the uncertainties regarding the future arrangements with the European Union. Both sides are up against it in terms of time and if neither side will budge there will be a distinct possibility of a no-deal arrangement between the two nations. Because of this, what might we expect? If it comes down to the 11th hour so to speak and there is absolutely no trade agreement between Great Britain and the European Union, the party might be over for the British pound which could suffer the downside against the counter currencies. We might also see a further sell off at the FTSE 100. As time gets closer it will be wise for traders to be extremely cautious while trading both of these assets. You should incorporate tight stop losses and reduce leverage. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.